They might have lost a few games recently and we might be third in the league. But they're still a dangerous team. They're going in so negatively. Form book goes out of the window in a Sheffield derby. Let's absolutely put that stupid Boxing Day massacre to bed. Lads, 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 in good nick here, back again. And I don't know whether I'm excited or just really, really nervous because this is the preview to the Sheffield Derby. The Sheffield United versus Sheffield Wednesday Steel City Derby is happening tomorrow night, which to be fair, this video will be going out on Friday. So tonight it will be happening. Um, we are playing our live on Sky. It's going to be a 7.45 kickoff. Um, and yeah, I'm going to first start by talking about last season. We played Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough. Everyone expected us to lose. Well, I say everyone. All the Wednesday fans expected us to lose. But we didn't. We went and absolutely demolished them 4-2. After being 2-0 up, they came back into the game with two quick goals. Uh, either side of half time and then we went and scored one goal straight after and then Leon Clark uh, finished his brace off and yeah we won 4-2 so the second game we drew 0-0 at Bramall Lane when we had the upper hand this time we weren't quite as clinical weren't quite as good attacking as we were in the first game but I think Wednesday definitely came for a draw in that game and then they acted like they had won the Champions League when they got that point. But uh, but anyway, not bitter about that. Not bitter about that at all. Uh, but yeah, um, Sheffield Wednesday have, I won't say embarrassed themselves, but they, they're going in really negatively. They are saying, we're going to lose. We're going to lose. We're going we're gonna to get battered. Sheffield United are going to batter us. If you don't beat us, then that means you're terrible. It's like, is that really a good thing to say? No, it's not. Uh, they're, they're going in so negatively that actually, if they get anything out of the game, even if they lose one or one nil or two one or something like that, they will probably still see that as a victory. So if they get a point out of the game, then they'll be absolutely buzzing. If they win the game, God. I can't even bear thinking about that because they're going to be like, how have you possibly lost to us? Which, they've still got a very good team. They've still got a very high wage budget. They've got Barry Bannon, they've got Adam Reach. They've got some, still got some decent players. Fletcher, they've got a, a lot of players and a lot of money. Um, so yeah, they might have lost a few games recently and we might be third in the league. But... They're still a dangerous team. All teams in this league are dangerous. If you do not get ready for the game, if you do not play to your, the best of your ability, you're not going to win a game in this Championship League. If you do not turn up, you won't win. And that's the thing. But I can't see that happening. Chris Wilder, there's no way he will let his team just not turn up. So I think what is going to happen is we are going to absolutely fly out of the blocks. I think uh, Enna Stevens and Kira Freeman are going to be bombing up and down them wings as they always do. To be fair, we always start. <coughs> well, we play we play ninety minutes of attacking football. Really, the thing is with us, if we do try to defend, we concede goals. So it's better for us to be attack, attack, attack. And I think Wednesday are going to be very, very defensive. I think they're going to have watched uh, Birmingham when they came to Bramall Lane and watch how they played very, very defensive and tried to hit us on the break, which a lot of teams are going to do that to us at Bramall Lane this season. They're going to want to try and frustrate us, definitely. Uh, one of my mates who's a Wednesday fan says he's, he thinks they're going to play five at the back anyway. I think that's what they play anyway, but they'll try and try to frustrate us and we can't let that happen. So anyway, I am going to say we are going to play the exact same team as we play every week. So we've got Hendo in the net, uh, Egan at central centre back with Jack and uh, Bash left and right of him. Uh, Stevens, Freeman, even if Baldock plays instead of Freeman, we'll get the same amount of passion 
as Freeman. Uh, I think obviously Fleck and Norwood are going to be sat playing those defensive midfield roles. Obviously Fleck will go forward, Norwood will patrol, um, pick the ball up off the defence and orchestrate the play as he usually does. Um, Mark Duffy is back. I've heard he is back, so he should be starting. Um, I don't know how how fit he was at the weekend. He didn't get a game. But hopefully that means that he is more than fit for this game uh, because we'll need him. We need him to unlock unlock the door, pick out those pockets, through balls to uh, to Sharp and Clark. Uh, and uh, I've kind of just given away who I think is going to play up front. Uh, even though David McGoldrick has been one of our best players this season, I think he's going to go with Leon Clark against Sheffield Wednesday. I think Billy Sharp should get his first start against Wednesday, for a while anyway, in a blade shirt. Um, and hopefully he'll get, a, he'll get a goal or two. It would be nice. Um, this brings us nicely on to predicted score. Now, if I take my Sheffield United fan brain out, I would say Sheffield United 2-0, 3-1 win, something like that. I don't think Wednesday will score more than one goal. Um, I don't think they'll score early. I think, if anything, we're going to score early. But I've got a feeling it's going to be nil-nil half-time and we might just nick a goal early on in the second half because Wednesday are really, really down in the dumps at the moment. However, putting in my Sheffield United fan brain back in and knowing what these derbies are like, anything could happen, guys. Anything could happen. Let's hope for a 2-0 a win, a 3-0 win, a 4-0 win. On paper, we should wipe the floor with Wednesday, but you don't win football games on paper, do you? So anyway, boys, uh, yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. I think we are going to go flying out of the blocks. Uh, Wednesday are going to try and be very, very defensive and not going to give us any time on the ball. Well, they'll give us all the time on the ball, not much time on the ball in and around the box. They'll be on us straight away. They won't let Billy... Um, David McGoldrick or Leon have any chances and if they do they're daft because they are some lethal strikers um, Sharp, Clark and McGoldrick so if we make chances for them we're going to score goals and we're going to win the game. Form book goes out of the window in a Sheffield derby. So yeah there you go that's what I think. I think we'll end up winning the game I think we'll probably only win the game 2-1, something like that. But fingers crossed for a big, big win. Let's absolutely put that stupid Boxing Day Massacre to bed. Fair enough, we've got our Bouncing Day Massacre. But let's just put four or five goals without reply in against Wednesday. The next time you're probably going to see me is a reaction video to this game. And... Don't get me wrong, if we win this game, the reaction video will be out instantly, trust me. However, if we lose the game, I may have to console myself, I may have to lick my wounds and uh, prepare for, for um, the video and just ha just think how have we managed to lose to Wednesday. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please smash a like on it and if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Come on you red and white wizards. For each your own, for every man a religion.